Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the show where I teach you some quick tips, tricks and cool things you can do inside your Lightworks video editor. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to put some black space in between your footage on your timeline. Now this one's really easy to do, it's one of those fundamental editing things you'll find yourself using in probably just about every edit that you do, but things are only easy if you know how to do them, and that's what we're going to look at today. So here I am in my timeline, you can see I've got some footage laid out here, and there's two ways we can go about putting some space in between our footage. The first one is a trim method. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to hold the command key on our keyboard or the control key if you're on a PC. Then you want to hover your mouse on the clip that you want to reduce until you get this bracket. And then while still holding the command or the control key, left click and hold on your mouse and just drag it along. And there you go, you can see that's reducing down the clip that we've selected to do this on and it's putting a space in between it and the previous clip. So that's method one, but what if you don't want to reduce any of the clips involved in this? Well, that's also quick and easy. So what we're going to do is hold command or control again. And this time, rather than using the left click, we're just going to use the right click. So again, hover until you get your bracket, still holding command or control, right click and hold on the bracket and drag it along. And what you can see here is rather than trimming down the clip we've selected, it's actually just moving that clip and all of the footage after it along. So none of these clips are being cut down or reduced. We're simply sliding them along the timeline so there's a gap in between this clip and the one before it. So there we go, like I said, really quick and easy. It's pretty much a foundational part of editing, but I guarantee you'll find yourself using this all the time. So give it a try yourself. Let me know in the comments below how that's gone for you, if you have any questions or anything like that. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notified every time there's a new episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching.